all right guys so welcome back to some more apex i hope you're having a very good day as always and we are back with some more apex news we haven't been seeing a lot of new stuff recently in apex so one of the only things to do right now is to give you guys all of the latest and recent news about this game because while apex is kind of dry right now we still have some hope for the rest of season six and we still have some very big things to actually look forward to coming very soon to this game so we're going to be talking about a few things in this video guys first of all the aftermarket collection event as well as crossplay those dates have kind of been revealed we also have information on a possible halloween event coming to apex as well in season six and for you guys who have never experienced a halloween event in apex because i think the last halloween event was in season three it's always very fun and respawn tends to bring very you know interesting features and game modes and skins as well for every single halloween event we have well i guess we only had one halloween event in the past but based on that halloween event guys the um shadowfall event fight or fright this upcoming halloween event should should also be very fun and we're also going to be talking about some penalties taking place right now in apex because of you know players using exploits and stuff in game respawn actually just touched on this and if you were someone who used like you know under the map exploits and stuff to win games or just used any kind of exploit recently in apex well respawn has actually responded to those players and they have seen some very big consequences some penalties as well because of you know those cheats and exploits in apex so if you guys are ready for this video as always be sure to leave a like and subscribe we're 500 subs away right now from 40k subs so if you guys enjoy my videos you want to see me reach 40k click that sub button right now i'd really appreciate it and if you also want to be up to date with everything apex this is the place to be click that sub button right now and also guys follow me on twitch why not i stream almost every single day on twitch i play apex i play among us black ops i play different games as well so come say hi to the stream if you haven't checked out the stream before click that sub button on this channel and enough self-promotion for me let's take a look at today's apex news all right so first up guys the whole question about crossplay and the aftermarket collection event we've been hearing these news for a very long time because it's been in the game for us a very long time as well and we really don't know exactly when respawn was supposed to drop this event as well as crossplay we may have just gotten the very first i would say semi of official date it isn't really official because respawn hasn't confirmed anything but this data miner right here his name is shruktal and if you guys watch my videos i always talk about shruktal because he gives us very reliable information on like you know leaks and data mine information for apex but he basically said that the reason why crossplay as well as the aftermarket collection event has been delayed for so long was because it was supposed to originally drop on september the 15th but because of delays in production and delays in development i guess respawn just wasn't able to drop this event on time so according to shruktal right crossplay as well as the aftermarket collection event both will drop on october 13th so it's actually not that far away like three weeks away from now and i expected to respond to drop crossplay as well as the aftermarket collection event sometime in october i initially said that i think it's going to be the first week in october so october the 6th but it looks like respawn even pushed that back another week because there were reports that it was going to drop on october the 6th so yeah for you guys who want to see crossplay so bad and for you guys who really want to see this aftermarket collection event as well look forward to it on october 13th now keep in mind that all of these leaks could still change because respawn has not confirmed anything so because this isn't like officially confirmed respawn has you know the capability to like push this event back even more they can actually you know bring it forward and drop it earlier we don't know when this event really would drop but all signs right now are pointing towards a crossplay release date of october the 13th as well as the aftermarket release date as well i also want to note that Shruktal basically uncovered files that not only you know hints towards crossplay but also apex for steam as well as apex for the nintendo switch so during this time guys most likely we'll see apex on steam and we'll see apex finally move to the switch now i personally don't play apex on the switch i probably will never even play apex on switch but i'm looking forward to like you know moving to pc apex one day and obviously steam is just a much better platform right now than origin so for all of you pc players as well look forward to apex potentially moving to steam as well during this time now in terms of a halloween event coming to apex shuttle also said that files were found that basically said a halloween event is also planned for release the really big question here is will respawn decide to merge the aftermarket collection event as well as the halloween event and you know drop it as one big event 
or will we still see a separation between the two? Obviously, we had a Halloween event in season 3 that was the fight or fright event which had so many Halloween skins and the infamous game mode Shadowfall, everyone enjoyed that so much. So we could very well see something similar during season 6, who knows? But just looking at the timeline right now, it kinda looks as if the aftermarket collection event might overlap into the Halloween event so we're not sure how this would actually play out. But we don't have that long to wait for these events to drop so you'll get to see very soon what Respawn decides to do with these two events so look forward to that very very soon all right guys so last but not least let's take a look at all of these bans all of these suspensions all of these you know basically penalties for anyone who wanted to cheat and use exploits recently in apex now these exploits were mostly found in ranked because that's when everyone really wants to cheat and get you know free rp and rank up but basically what took place was that yesterday guys many players who actually use these exploits in game saw a message when they logged into apex that basically banned them from playing the game for 10,000 minutes which is one week and here's what Connor Ford, a member of Respawn security team, had to say. To those who exploited going under the map for easy wins and PS4 players who exploited an issue to rejoin ranks matches after dying to get higher placement and free RP, justice was served today. GG's. So basically guys, anyone who wanted to just, you know, be annoying in Apex and cheat and try to, you know, get free RP and rank up because the game is that serious to them guys where they actually have to resort to cheating and using exploits to win, it's kind of sad. But to anyone who actually did that, well, you're going to be not playing Apex for one week. And I think Respawn also gave like, you know, rank penalties as well, like they lost the rank to some players. So GG's guys, don't cheat, it's not fun, it's kind of sad and it's just a video game guys, play the game fair. If you can't rank up, it's simply because you're just not good enough and you shouldn't have to resort to using exploits and you know cheating and stuff to try and rank up. So yeah, that's some good news for anyone who just hates to come across you know cheaters and people who use exploits in Apex. So GG's. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed as always. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and let me know your thoughts on every single thing I talked about in today's video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in some more Apex. Till next time. Now, what am I supposed to do in this situation? I could just play for Bono to like, yeah. Let's go this way. They have a bots and fences and shit. And wait for my ultimate to come back. There's one. If you could just get like one knock, that would be great. Yo, fuck that. My god, are you f Thank you, teammate. I'm panicking, guys. I'm panicking. Oh, look, you want to keep this, though. That's all you teammate, that's all you. That's all you, he's literally weak.